His name was Geralt of Rivia. He was a witcher, a professional monster slayer, an unusual contract to lift the curse that held a monarch's daughter. It was enough to spend the night with the princess, dusk till dawn. If only she were not a deadly beast, a striga. The traitor responsible for the curse became the bait.
Though gravely wounded, the Witcher lifted the curse and gained fame. The world changed with the coming of the Great War, the time of the sword and axe, the time of disdain. Geralt of Rivia disappeared, all but forgotten. But that's another story. The Northern Kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering, what had happened to the witchers? The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin. The year, 1270. Five years after the Great War. friends, though you look like you just left your grave. I remember nothing. We'll speak soon enough. We're nearing Kaer Morin.
Leo, get Triss. Your time nears its end, witches. Enjoy things while you can. You missed the parry. I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. Explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you are important. Geralt, we come. I need to think. Time flows slowly at Kermoran. Worked. Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? Wait for the rest. He's alone. The professor promised 50 orans for every freak we kill. He's mine! Vesemir, we got company. I'm shutting the gates. Garrow, grab a sword off the training forms. How do you feel? Fine. Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. Trying to break down the gate! They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. Shit! What is that? A frightener. 
One mean beast. Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. They're coming up here. Get ready! There's more! They're entering the upper courtyard! The one in glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. The Professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I don't recognize the sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bell's in the upper courtyard. Exactly. Eskel, Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits, though one might be infamous. You must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. with me and die. with me and die.
No way through here. Follow me. Back to Savola. It's a miracle you're alive. You could have told me about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not masons. No matter. The professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, witchers. They're here to rob you. Trace, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts. I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Truth may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember Leo's with you. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside and be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. Ready, Geralt? Mm-hmm. Is this your first real fight? No, but I've never killed a man. Stay close. Geralt, wait! What? Bandits inside. Drink the Thunderbolt potion Vesemir gave you.
I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. Lambert tells me I'll never be as fast as a real witcher. But I managed to hit him during training today. You beat Lambert? Yeah, we were fencing on the floor pegs when that strange storm came. Lambert looked away. I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. Uh, he didn't fall, and then he beat me. You'll make a good swordsman yet. I know. <laughs> Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me. The energy you annexed from the Circle of Elements is enough to stop the Witchers? You tremble, yet you complain Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single Witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? The aforementioned considered dead, I might add, is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Back to work. I want the mutagens ready for teleportation in 15 minutes. Our witches shan't trouble us. We're cut off. The stairs are blocked. The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us. Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign. A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. Success? We'll see in a minute. I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself.
the Ard at the rubble blocking the stairs. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child. It didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake. But you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. I'll handle the Frightener with Vesemir. I'm going then. You can't fight for us all. I'm going with you. That's nice, Eskel, but I'm teleporting to your lab. Savola is mentally connected to the other mage. I'll use him as a beacon, and I could lose you along the way. Be careful. I'm a big girl. I'll manage. Geralt, this Tawny Owl potion restores endurance. If there's a fight, hit the bell and cauldrons with the Ard. We need noise. I want them to hear us in Vizima. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through.
What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague. You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child. It didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake. But you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. The lab is important. I'm going with Triss. Me too. It's decided then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. Watch out! Quickly, defend the laboratory! This could be a hard fight, Geralt. Take this potion. Witchers call it the Tawny Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting mages. Thanks. Let's go. Go no further, White One. I'll summon a powerful demon that will tear you apart. A bluff. He's exhausted from teleportation. Magic lights is about all he can muster. Go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. Underestimating an opponent. Now the energy of my people will make me stronger.
Are you hurt? Did he get you? Nah. But if those were magic lights, I'd hate to face a truly powerful sorcerer. I wanted to help, but I couldn't break through that strange circle. Savol is eating dirt. That's what matters. We need to help Triss. Let's go. Geralt, please hurry. We need to see what's happening in the lab. I'm coming. They're ransacking the laboratory. The other mage is... I underestimated him. Hurry. I found it. We have what we came for. Professor, deal with those witches. I hear witches can parry bolts in flight. Let's see. Leo, stop! Uh. What happened? Smashed ribs, punctured lung. He's dying. He needs White Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the Professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witchers. And something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body.
laid me down here. Master. Eskel came by while you were resting. Triss is still unconscious, but stable. That's a relief. I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Kaer Morin. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first, we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss'll hear when she wakes is, Finally awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. Let's get to work. Later, I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. Where can I get some alcohol? There should be white gull in a crate in the armory on the upper floor. The room's full of weapons, you'll know it when you see it. I'll find you later. What do you need? Where can I get some alcohol? There should be white gull in a crate in the armory on the upper floor. The room's full of weapons, you'll know it when you see it. Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. I'll find you later.
dare challenge the Salamandra. I'll make you squeal. Need anything, Wolf? I have some questions. What is it? What do I use as the base for my potion? 
Alcohol. The better it is, the purer and more powerful your potion. Tell me about the trial of the grasses. It's a three-stage process. The first is the choice. Leo completed it, enduring the hard training and diet. I presume it's more than your basic lettuce and carrots. Special mushrooms, mosses, and herbs are grown in the lab. Combined with training, they accelerate muscle growth and digestion, improving the body's general condition. Does everyone pass the first stage? Unfortunately not. The liver and heart often fail. The mind sometimes, too, resulting in excessive aggression. What's the second stage? The trial of the grasses. More idiotic tales have been conjured up about that than about princesses and dwarves. Before the raid, the lab contained vials, hearths, formulae, herbs, and the grasses. A mage and his magic were all that was lacking. Did you ever witness a trial? Just one. Our own. I thought I was going to lose it when your hair turned white. The grasses affect the nervous system, so magic must control the process. The trial results in lightning-fast reflexes. Reaction times normal people will never attain. Only four out of ten survive. Quite a cut. And the last stage? I don't know the specifics. It involves changes like the mutation of the eyes, the bone marrow, hormones. In exchange, we see in the dark, heal much faster than ordinary folk, and gain increased resistance to poison. Interesting. What's the cost? We're infertile. The changes are irreversible? Entirely. Did you see the magic storm? Yes, I was out hunting. Just before the storm came, a swarm of night jars took flight. Hundreds of them. Gray streaks across the sky, trilling wildly. Usually less of them gather, and their cries rarely sound so desperate. When the storm came, I gave up the hunt and headed toward Kaer Morin. Met the others on the way. We'll talk later. What do you need? Done. I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast, and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. Oh, that was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but... I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gull and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need celandine. Take what I have. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion.
Yes? Where are Lambert and Eskel? Upstairs. Lambert's in the library, and Eskel's taking Triss to her room. Are there other witchers? There were three witcher schools in all, but it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the witchers I know of, except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An introvert, he chose his own path. Actually, none here can say they know Berengar. He often ran away from Kaer Morhen, though he would always return in the end. After the trial of the grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. I have all the ingredients. Good. Now rest and prepare the potion according to the formula. We'll speak later.
Thank you, Geralt. I hope this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out, but I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? We have no time to lose, Triss. The sooner we set off, the better. You're right. Give me a minute to pack. I'll see you at the funeral. We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal climate. Then planet. I'll head east, to Kedwin, unless someone objects. That's fine. Which way should I go? South, to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandits' trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizima. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. See you, Triss. Caroline, I'm tired. It's not far now. We'll be there soon. I'm cold. We'll fetch you warm milk and honey. You'd like that. Very much. Thank you, Caroline. What are those dogs doing? Dogs? Do exactly as I say. This is important. Run to the inn as fast as you can, and don't look back. Understand? They're evil dogs. Run! Shut the gate, quickly! The beast! The beast is attacking! Sound the alarm! <laughs> Gary! 
Geralt. Melitelli must have sent you. There's a woman outside. The dogs will tear her apart. Help her. Help! No! Don't open the gate! The beasts will enter! These dogs are deadly. You people are monsters! Stand aside! I save them myself! Stop. Don't go out there alone. Damn you! We're all going to die! Magic, surely. The beast! Geralt, look! The time of the sword and axe approaches! The time of the white frost and white light! The time of madness and disdain! To Daerit, the final age! The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun! Reborn of elder blood, of hen Iker, of a planted seed, a seed that will not sprout but burst into flames. The old elven prophecy of Itlina. I hope he's all right. It seems he saved us from the beast. Yes, seems so. Oh, I do hope he's not hurt. I'll need to find someone to take care of him. He shouldn't be alone. We'll stay at the inn in the meantime. Wait a minute. I ran into wild dogs on my way here, but they were nothing like these, and I don't mean just the green fur. Know anything about them? They've been terrorizing the village for some time. Every few days, a villager is killed. The pack is led by a large hound, perhaps a wolf. People call it the beast. Someone might pay to have the beast slain. That's what witchers do, isn't it? But enough about monsters. What brings you here? I'm seeking men who wear the sign of the salamander. Seen anyone like that in the area? Shh, not so loud. There was someone, but the peasants grow silent at the mere mention of him. The Reverend might know more. You may also want to ask him about the beast. I'll do that. Did you want to ask me something? Do we know each other? It's me, Shawnee. Don't you recognize me? Whatever happened to you? I heard you died during a massacre in Rivia. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. I recall the last few weeks, nothing more. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't help. Medicine's a fledgling science here in the North. I can say that your memory might come back on its own. It's not that bad. I'm actually getting used to it. I hate to admit it, but sorcerers are somewhat more effective at this than we are. Maybe one of them could help. We'll speak later. Board. Maybe I can find some witcher's work. Some rain. Some rain. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
three ounces of optimum martyr, a drop of mercury solution. Uh, oh, sorry, I got lost in thought. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Cogstein, alchemist. Geralt, witcher. A witcher? How much would you ask for an opportunity to examine your body? I don't think you could afford it. You would be doing a great service to science. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who valued reliable knowledge. I respect science and scientists, alchemists too. And I guess I expect the same in return. I see. Well, hmm. Maybe you can agree to a post-mortem then. Keep talking and I might change my mind. Regarding alchemists, that is. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Farewell. Albedo? Yes, the solution. I need to rest. Who wants to get slapped? You Whoa! Some tournament going on? We beat each other for coin. Interesting. Fat Fred will rearrange your face, just show me your gold. How much? Twenty-five orans. I don't have twenty-five orans. Did you want to ask me something? It's been a long time since I've heard mention of Salamandra. Do you know anything about them? I think they're a group of bandits who terrify the locals. Yesterday, they returned a boy they'd whipped with a lamia. A lamia? A mayhem crop with small barbs and hooks. It rips away skin and flesh with each strike. Most civilized countries have banned them. The boy was delirious, muttered something about a ransom and the reverend. Sadly, he grew feverish, and he died that night. Thanks. I may stay longer than I planned. Why the interest in Salamandra? I can't say. I see. We'll speak later. Just listen. Chickens are dying like flies from the plague. Greetings, stranger. Funny, you remind me of someone. Who would that be? The famous witcher, Geralt, the White Wolf. Really? It's uncanny. White hair, sword across your back, streaked out of the ballads. What a coincidence. Many must mistake you for Geralt. Some do. Those songs must be popular. Master Dandelion, the Bard of Bards, has sung those ballads for years. Hmm. What's in your repertoire? Shall I sing for you, my lord? I wouldn't mind hearing something. Art soothes the soul, doesn't it? But I also need to eat. How about a contribution? Five orins? See ya. Greetings, Ansem. You look a tinge fatigued. Wait, didn't you rescue that child at the gate? By chance. By chance? Really? If only the local peasants chance to do good once in a while. Oh, no matter. What can I get you?
nothing now. But care to sit down with me for a moment? Not likely. I'm a decent girl. I'm at work now. In that case, I'll have a beer, please. There you go, Ansem. What do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's not welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Very well. I'll see what I have. Good man. Everyone drink up. We're closing. Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that, would you? No. All right. I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. What can I do for you? I'm a witcher. Bah, by the eternal fire. Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. Okay. I'll speak with him. What can I do for you? Why the gloom? I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? For that, I talk to a bar guest all day. It's time I was on my way. No wonder pretty lasses are so sublime. The taller the tree, the harder it is to climb. Neither lass nor tree to a simple will bow. Yet he has a remedy. Chop down one, the other sorceress bit viciously by serpent cold and vile. Observe the reptile choke and die as she herself did smile. Why are you being so gentle with her? Looks like Miss Vesna has unwanted Try visitors. Try being rough, I dare you. Oh, this shrew needs to... Let's see just how tough you are. Can't wait. Is that you? Witcher, help! Piss off, Whitey. No monsters here. Don't have the balls to fight a witcher, Butch. Shut it, woman. I'll show you balls. <laughs> You're apt to lose those shortly. I'll send you to your grave. Sorry. Can't wait. Will you help? 
me. I fear the dogs and thugs, but I need to get home. You're a big girl. You'll manage. My stomach hurts, cursed witch! Ah, oh, my stomach hurts, cursed witch! Oh my, a witcher! Welcome. What happened to the man outside? It was his own fault. Many come to me with pitiful fantasies I disdain to fulfill. They take me for a whore, when I am but a witch. I'll remember that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not all bad. The sinner will recover.
Halt! What? What do you mean, what? I want to enter the city. There's a... what do they call that? A, a, a quarter nine. Will it last long, this quarantine? Commander's job to know, not mine. And I guess the commander's inside. Does this quarantine apply to everyone? Dunno. Have you let anyone in? People with passes. They're allowed in. I see. Let's talk. Does the Reverend know you're here? Of course. Oh, I don't believe you. He give you anything? They're not allowed. <laughs> From the Reverend. Right. I'm looking for the men who wear salamander pins. How's that my business? They're bandits. The guards should do something. My job's to stand here is ordered. So here I stand. You fear them, just like the villagers. And you're prodding your nose where you shouldn't. Farewell. <laughs> From the Reverend. Right. Where might I get a pass? The Order of the Burning Roses got passes. The Eternal Fire fights the plague. I've seen no knights here. Would the Reverend know anything? He knows a lot. Wouldn't hurt to ask. Farewell. The Reverend said you could use my help. Uh, I've been told to get rid of those deadens. Deadens? Yeah. Commander told me to clear the crypt down the road. I've never fought beasts before. Too scared. Hmm. Deadens, you say? Please, sir. I'm a witcher, so I'll rid you of the fiends, but in exchange, you'll pay me 200 orans and tell the Reverend I helped you. Sure, sir. Uh, I'll tell him what I know, which will be little, and I don't have much gold, neither, but no matter, just so long as the deadens are slayed, eh? See you later.
does he think he is? This is Haran Brog's territory. Talk to him. What's up? What's up? Oh, I'm itching to slap somebody. I'm sleepy. Show you, you stubby. Send them to the reservation. Dance Send for us, you dwarven bitch. What's your business with this dwarf? We're shaving off his beard. What's it to you? You'd be better off moving along. Love non humans, do you? Sheathe your weapon. And stop waving those arms around if you want to keep them. Ooh, a live one! Get him, lads! Kill the deviant! You asked for it. Thanks for getting those hounds off my back. Wait, Geralt, is it you? Well, I'll be damned. Something wrong? You don't look well. Are you hurt? True to a witcher. Died, came back to life. Nobody's seen him for five years, and he wants to know if something's wrong. Who are you? You drunk. I'm your pal, Zoltan Chile. Where have you been? Why haven't I heard from you? What about... Not sure I can explain much. Ah, you don't need to tell Zoltan Chevy anything. Let's just say I'm glad to see you, though it would be nice to resolve some matters. You misunderstood. I lost my memory. I only remember the last few weeks. Hmm. Know what, Geralt? Let's have a beer and talk like we used to. Clear your mind and maybe some things will come back to you. You look like something's bothering you. Yes, a nasty matter. My friend was to meet me in this village some time ago, but he never appeared. Think he might be in trouble? I hope not, but I wouldn't be surprised if he were. He joined the squirrels recently and agreed to trade with the hawkers. Squirrels and hawkers? The squirrels, or Skoyatal as they call themselves, are non-humans who hope to gain equality by shooting folk from behind trees. And hawkers are merchants who sell arms to the Skoyatal. Illegally. I see. Geralt, I'm not exactly welcome here. We non-humans get blamed for everything from the plague through the beast to the warts on the Reverend's arse. I'd look for my friend myself otherwise. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Let you know if I learn anything. Thank you, my friend. Can you tell me more about the squirrels? 
And they're non-human little shits who are fed romantic tales. They've taken up arms to fight for freedom and other ideals. During the war with Nilfgaard, Emir used them to wreak havoc in the kingdoms. I don't know who supports them now. I need to go, Zoltan. We'll talk later. Be gone! Devil's breed! Calm yourself, priest. I merely wish to speak with you. There's nothing to speak of. Indeed there is. I seek Salamandra. I heard they come here. They'll kill us because of you. I have ways of showing gratitude. What ways? You're troubled by a beast? Not your business. I'm a witcher. I could help. Another witcher came recently. Berengar. He promised to slay the beast, but fled when it howled. I'm not Berengar. If you want my trust, bear the eternal fire's light to the people and dispel the darkness. You'll find five chapels around the village. Fire won't scare the beast. This is more than a stray dog. The eternal fire, blasphemer. You can be sure it will scare off beasts, for it has been said that though his soul be in darkness and his visage be a horror, do not judge him hastily for he will carry the flame of hope into the night. And also, you shall only be safe in the glow of the eternal fire. All right, but it will cost you 100 warrens. Very well, but the eternal fire must appear at night in all five chapels. I want to enter the city, but I need a letter, a pass of some sort. Only Knights of the Order hold passes, but as chaplain, I have one. May I have it? You? A stranger? A drifter? Have you lost your mind? Stop! Uh, what are you? A witcher. We're militia. We keep the peace. I'll be going. We need to see you're not ill. I'm immune. Don't know what that means. We got a check. What's that? Uh, chip. Well, you, well, you look foul, but healthy. Move along. Godspeed.
Something must have happened to her. Have you seen my granddaughter, Vesna?
Delightful. I hope we meet again. Oh, ouch! I should leave. Till tomorrow. Speak quickly. I carried the eternal fire to all the chapels. The beasts still haunt us! I told you it wouldn't work. Where's my payment? Ah, yes, your payment. The curse must be stronger than I thought. Doubtless caused by that witch, Abigail. An evil woman. A witch? Maybe she can tell us more. She brought the beast and all other calamities upon us. Perhaps, but I'd rather speak with her first. We must know from whence the beast came. Learn the truth. I will, for 300 orans. Our community's poor. Perhaps 200? So be it.
Why, hello. Have we met? Perhaps. I lost my memory. I've never heard that before, though it's possible. The little medic will care for you. Shani can't help. Shame. Ah, now I remember. Get out of Rivia. I hired you in Novigrad to rid my storage of Garcanes. If you say so. I hadn't sufficient coin, but you helped me nonetheless. Guess I was generous then. My business has grown, so I'll pay this old debt. I could use the gold. Here's one hundred orins. Fresh graves. Plague must have visited. What do you want? What do you want? The Reverend believes you summoned the beast. And what do you believe? Nothing yet. What's your side of the story? <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. I need to know where the beast came from. Why ask me? Aren't witches wise in the ways of magic? Yes, but this beast is beyond me. Although, I know someone else. Who would that be? The boy Alvin. He's a strong source and a diviner. What he knows we could not hope to imagine. However, if I were to give him a certain potion... Won't it hurt him? No need to fret, he'll be fine. Bring me the petals of five white myrtle and your questions will be answered. Myrtle grows outside the village. If you lack knowledge of herbs, I have this book. It's yours, for a price. Grant me patience. Geralt! So, how are you doing? You know me, my schemes. I hope to start a modest business in Vizima, bringing in goods from Mahakam. 
The Brecken rigs are pressuring me. From Markham? Any profit in that? I certainly hope so. I made some investments during the war. As they say, money needs to move. Just so long it doesn't run away. Geralt! So... You know me. The Breckenrigs. Who are they? My future in-laws. I'm to wed Eudora Breckenrig soon. But my father-in-law-to-be puts too much stock in material things. The common cause mine where I worked after the war was a complete failure. I blame it on the bloody times. I need to go, Zoltan. We'll talk later. The first I've seen of the walls of Temeria's capital. You win. My reward? Choose. Two flasks of supreme moonshine and a snack to go with them. A ring or cash. Gold. One hundred orans. We're not fighting, cheat. No challengers. 
Want a beating, stranger? We fight for money. No way, not me. Want a beating? No way. Want a Oh, kick your ass and make money doing it. We'll see. I'll smash your face. You win, Wanderer. Take your coin and leave me be. No challenges. Wanna... Oh, we'll... You win, Wanderer. Who wants to get slapped? I'm itching to hit someone. No challengers. No challengers. Who wants to get slapped? Army life's tough. Be alert.
Who goes there? I'm a witcher, a monster slayer. Why enter my home armed? I have nothing worth stealing. Calm down. I've no desire to hurt you. I just need to ask you a few questions. I don't talk to strangers. I'm Geralt. Now you know my name. Have a drink with me, Master Garavant. I detest spies, and we all know spies don't drink. Let's drink, then. Forgot the most important. Seen the Reverend? Of course. <clears throat> he told us to question strangers. Enough. For the Reverend. Be gone, strike. Be gone, straggler. Be gone, straggler. Seems the contents of that bottle caused the woman's death. The ghouls came for her remains. <laughs> 